first of all, why do you even want to come to the show? I, I don't have a reason why. It's just like an energy that you know. I followed you for a while, and I'm always you know I'm always up to things. But when I saw the warehouse stuff, that's what really struck my interest. It just looked like so much fun. And I'm like, I wonder where that is. I wonder what he's doing. I start seeing the, the things taped up, and I'm like, the mystery of you know, it's <laughs> like it's like a, a rebirth. You know, it's like you don't know what's happening, and that's why you want to know. It's that that energy. It's like calling. You know? I'm like, oh, I'm just flowing. That's it. Well. Let me start then by asking you, who are you? I'm still trying to figure that out. 32 years old and up until now, I like to think that I Hold was, on, hold on. Yeah. We're going fast. This yeah, is, yeah, yeah. This, this, you're the last guy. Let's take it easy. Get out of here for a second. You're like up in your head. Let's try to like not think. Let's take, I'll, I'll do it with you. Let's take three deep breaths. We're in beautiful New York City. Sun's going down, perfect weather. I don't care what your job is, that's not who you are. I, I don't care what you've done and you, what, what you didn't do. Let's try to answer that by using only emotions, okay? That's scared. it. You're scared. Say it, say I am scared. I'm scared. Okay, what are you scared of? Failure. Failure in what? As a dad, as no, a job, I, as a... Just... Get into it. Everything, just everything. Like not, you know, and not that I am a failure, I perceive myself, but yeah, I'm scared of it and that fear pulls me back from a lot of things. Describe I, what would be failure. What is failing for you? Not helping people that I feel need my help. Your I'm, family? Yeah, my, yeah, my family and my close friends. Right? People that I'm with every day, whether they be family or not. You provide for your close friends? I mean, I, yeah. Like I financially? Mean, financially, I come out of pocket, yeah, not, you know. Why, why are you providing for your close friends? Because I believe in them. The ones that I do is because I believe in them. And that's another reason why I feel like I'm really here because I have no idea. Let's keep going. So you're scared of failing, but whose voice are you hearing when, when you say that? My, my. Is it your voice? Is it you now? Or is it you as a 16 year old? Is, yeah. is it an angry you? Probably a younger me. And, he's, and where did he learn this? Where did 16 year old learn this value system of if you don't do this, then you're a failure. And if you do do this, then you're all okay. Where did you learn that? Is it your father? Wanting, wanting to be accepted, like needing to be accepted. Of course, to always try to make my parents proud. You know, I come from old school. You know, my dad's 72 years old. It was always just like work. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I love him. He's a great father. He provided to, you know, he's, he's a great father. But My parents are proud of me today. And I'm proud of myself today. To get here, we had to go through a very uncomfortable, like almost divorce. I almost had to divorce my parents. But I'm asking you to think, if we all live to make our parents proud, we would hate ourselves. Because I'm guessing, as a 72-year-old guy, your dad wants for you way different things than you want for yourself. It's a different world we're living in. And that's every generation, right? If I did exactly where my parents were like, we're so proud of you, son, then I would have been a fucking doctor or a preacher, married at 20 with kids already, there was some rebellion there, so I, I was like, ah, fuck you, I'm not going to do that. But because I did that, I got to live my dream, achieve my dream, and now they're proud of me. So it would have been a disservice to them and myself if I just did what they wanted me to do. So you have kids, they're young, you want them to be happy, right? So they're, they're, your, they're your kids. You were once 10 years old, you were once 11 years old. And at that age, your parents raised you with what they knew at that time, but what is your greatest wish or desire for your children? Yeah. Right, but what is that? What is Whatever happening? They choose. Right. Whatever and so are happen. you going to push whatever, like you need to do this or you need to play sports or you got to, is it true if I ask you, do you want to be happy? Yeah. Are, are you a happy person? Not, not right now. So, so if you're saying you're not happy right now, but you want to be happy, what is that? What is success for happiness? Yeah. People say that all the time and they don't really think about what that means. And they always go to, surface artificial married kids money good job those things bring a level of happiness but i'm saying if you want to wake up happy every day how come the fucking homeless guy in africa is more happy than the rich guy here so when you say i want to be happy and i want that for my kids what is that i think it's a dilemma inside of me you know, i've been to my, you, both of my parents countries and seeing what that, country is that my father's from ecuador and my mother's from Paraguay. i'm so sorry to hear that <laughs> I can't even imagine the amount of shit they must bring from that. The baggage they must come from that country to put onto you. Thank you for just admitting right away that you have fear. Uh, and when I say fear, what is that? And you go fear of failure. 
When you say I'm scared to fail, that means in your head, you still have to perform. You still have to do stuff. You have to try. No, I'm not saying you're scared to try. I'm saying you still, there's a side of you that you need to keep doing shit. And you'll never be happy as long as you're always holding yourself up to like, I'm not saying to not do anything. You could do shit, but it's unnatural to be happy all the time in the same way it's unnatural to be sad all the time. But to be content where you wake up every day with gratitude and you're like, you know what? Today's sort of going to be a rough day, but I'm, I'm content with myself. That means you have to be happy with everything that you have and that there is no more failure because you're already a success. That means you have to redefine what success is. Every fucking person I know that has achieved success in, your, in their life is a fucking failure as a human being. Every person I know that's like on social media, oh, look at that guy, he's in a private jet and he's fucking all these girls and this, and look at that guy, he's this and that. They've reached a level of success and happiness that they thought because that's what they were taught. To be happy, you need a car, you need a house, you need these things. And I'm not saying those things don't bring happiness, they, they do. But I've been around happy people. I've been, I just came back from Africa. They're fucking naked, hunting, grandfather with son, with grandson. Togetherness, I don't have that. I don't chill with my fucking dad in my underwear going hunting and shit. Like I have so much anxiety about even a phone call from him. What, what the fuck is that shit? And so as long as you need to perform, I need to do something more and it's not enough. And I'm telling you, you're enough. I'm telling you, if no one's ever told you that, I'm telling you now, you're enough. You never need to do anything else. You as a human being is enough. Your kids, they don't need anything else from you. I mean, yeah, you're a dad, so you gotta provide for them, but you don't have to do anything more than just be there, right? Because what does every kid want? They want time from their parents. And then the parents, natural go-to is no I need to a kid doesn't really know what being poor is right they just know when they go to school like that kid has a nicer toy and I don't have it they don't give a shit all they care about is I want to hang out with my dad I want to hang out with my dad I want to hang out with my mom I think my dad's a cool guy so it means showing up and that's enough you don't have to like go out of your way to get him the best thing because the more you work that means we're in a culture that we're sick people we support workaholism and just working and working and when you call someone, it's a rat race. Hey, what are you doing? I don't know, I'm really busy right now. Even fucking guys I know that don't have jobs are busy. Hey, hey dude, I'd love to talk to you, but I gotta go. Where are you going? You ever hear this? Hey, hey, I'm glad you called. I'm actually not that busy. Oh, my whole day's free, what, what do you got? Like that, can you imagine? You can have that right now. But then that means you gotta give up what society says for you is a success. You gotta fucking have this, you gotta do this, and you gotta be part of this race, and you're never gonna win. You'll never reach the happiness because you're always going to be chasing. So the chase has to stop. And that's hard to do because I get caught up in it too, right? Yeah, it's a daily course. struggle, but... I'll be completely honest with you. I do wake up every day with a lot of gratitude. Mainly because I don't even like talking about this. It's like very few people even know about it. But I had two kidney transplants in my whole Two? Life. Two. So, so you're, you're lucky to even be here. Even. So I do wake up grateful, but I just... What before, the fuck happened? I know. What? I was just born with mutated genes. That's it. It was just like yeah, you should be dead right now. 18. Yeah, my brother. You should be dead right now. Shit. That's fucking crazy that you're just throwing that out. Like no, I don't like let, talking let, about it because I don't hey, want to be looked at. Cause hey, that. listen, stop right now. Don't just rush over that small fact. <laughs> We're in New York City. You say you wake up with gratitude every day. I'm fucking lucky to be sitting here with you right now. So I'm gonna just let's just not talk for a little bit. Let's just close our eyes. And I wanna I wanna be grateful that you're sitting here with me right now because. It's a miracle that you're here and that you're alive. I'm so grateful that you're here because I can't even imagine what that must have been like. I know you don't like to talk about it, but you're a fucking miracle. You're a fucking miracle. And every day that you're here, that you're still here, is a fucking gift to your children and it's a blessing and it's enough there's no fear of failure anymore you being alive you're a success that's amazing man that's fucking so amazing and beautiful it's another thing that's scary like every minute kidney fails but you don't I, have... I don't think about that but it's a, i can't lie it's always been deep hey, deep in the back of my mind it's something i i know i have to look at this every day and that's you know a great I mean? reminder and, and that's why i can't even if i would try to forget about it look there's people that have the theory like the dude live every day like it's your last and go crazy but no one really does that 
and that's a little bit morbid, right? But in a way, you could look at it in a different twist where it is more grateful and has gratitude. It's like, today I woke up and I don't need to like go out and do crazy shit to be like, I only, the clock is running out. I can only imagine what I would do if someone said your kidneys are failing and you might possibly have a year left to live. I go out and go crazy, but imagine if you had the level of serenity and, and, and calmness in your life where you're like, I don't need to go crazy just because I got that news or I'm already living my dream. So I don't need to go out and keep running faster. It's like you're running a fucking death clock. The type of people that have the money to get a new kidney, cool. You handle the physical side, right? It's like the people that are trying to get to Mars. Yeah. Earth is fucked, we gotta get to Mars. Why? So we could just continue the same bullshit on that planet? Yeah. Let's deal with, you know, what, it's like the guy with the new kidney, cool, he'll live longer to what? To keep being miserable? It's like, let's be happy right now today so that if we do die tomorrow, we can be like, you know what? Yesterday was a perfect day. Right now, I have so much gratitude for you being here and this, like, and, and I couldn't, very, I couldn't do that before. Here. I'm telling you, I'm not in my head. I, I got, I'm always somewhere else. And how, how can I ever be happy if I'm always somewhere else? I'm like, this thing falls over and tips over. That would suck. Yeah. But I got to share a fucking beautiful moment with a stranger today. I'm happy for that. That's a fucking good way to go. You know, this is the arrow. Oh no, I was saying that's that is, yeah, cool. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, really appreciate it.